The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Ryan Wilkes here with head baseball coach Tom Griffin after the Eagles split a doubleheader with Newberry but secure the series win here at home. Eighth straight home series win here at Silver Diamond Baseball Complex here on the Eagles Sports Network. So coach, let's start with the first game, a 16-11 to loss. You know, Newberry puts up 11 in that third inning. It was kind of tough to bounce back after that. But you know, you had a couple of freshman arms coming and do pretty well for you guys after that third inning. What do you think of their performances here today? Well, listen, the nine run in that inning literally is what Newberry does to you. They put pressure on you. Whether it's with two strikes putting balls in play, whether it's the ability to control the baseball in their bunny game, which is tremendous. They can win games inside the field. They don't have to hit balls outside the infield. They do that, but they can win games inside through the pressure, and that, that's what makes them so dangerous. And that was a textbook example of how to be able to place balls, have good feel with the barrel, and put pressure on you. Okay? So, a crooked number up, and now, you know, you, you, you got the 10 run rule you got to deal with. So, Coach Tingle, you know, was like, hey, listen, man, let's. Let's get some guys in there right now because we've got another game to play and we need to have some guys in that pen. And the freshman that you mentioned that came in for their first collegiate uh, game did a great job. They really did. Very happy for them. But they've worked extremely hard like everybody else. Coach Tingle does a tremendous job with our pitching staff, as does Coach Sofield. We're very fortunate to have two pitching coaches. And both of them feed off, feed, feed off each other very well. So we're really blessed to have both of them. Um, and I get, you get to see the work that they do with those young freshmen. So in that first game, you guys didn't give up. In that last third of the ball game, you scored eight runs. But Newberry kind of put up four to put it away. But what do you think of your team's stick to the miss and ability to not really give up in that ball game to try to have a match? Well, it's great, but that should be expected. And if you got a club that lays down right there, then your culture is completely in trouble. So you would expect guys to keep battling. Um, and they did. You know, we got It was a tough hole to get out of, and that's, that's baseball. But, you know, one of the things as a coach you're thinking about is like, listen, you want to get your at-bats to be good, you want to play well, because you're going into another game and you want to have at least some innings that you won, which at the end, you get a little bit more of a feel good. But we had the break right there. Listen, that was going to come down to that last game. You got a very tough-minded, um, a tough group of guys over there, and we, you got to match that intensity level and, and that, that, that just get after it. It backs against the wall, you gotta find PTP. You gotta find prime time players, guys who wanna be in that box, guys who come up with big hits, either a guy on the mound or gonna make defensive plays. Now, that whole game came down to just two people. It was Hunter Harrington and it was uh, Griff Hughes. Those two were outstanding. We extended Griff longer than we probably wanted to, but that was a great job. He was, him and Harrington were the guys we had to have to step up. Nick Castellano, I thought, did a great job behind the dish this weekend. Really good job coming back from a forearm. And anytime we can put Spencer Bright in, we don't lose anything there. Made the defensive plays when we had to, but we're still making mistakes. I hate to go back to that, my man, but we're still making mistakes that we're kind of just stubbing our own toe. We've got to make sure we're taking care of that. That being said, you have to have people step up. Those two young men stepped up for us. So having that game, the second game, was really the polar opposite of the first. You guys were able to you know, hold Newberry at bay. Much credit to Griff Hughes and Hunter Harrison. Yes. You know, what what'd you think of them overall? They were just, they were excellent. They did what they came to do, and they just, they kept you guys out in front. Two runs scored in the whole game in that first inning, and you guys were able to hold the lead all the way through. What do you think of their performance? Well, it, it's hard to strike out Newberry, man. They're, they're tough guys. They put balls in play. They have a great approach offensively. So you better be able to throw your breaking ball. It's got to be sharp. It's got to have two planes to it. It's got to have some swing and miss stuff. You've got to pitch sometimes a little bit differently in the counts. And Griff was able to do that. Uh, Hunter, um, the fastball was exploding. Good fastball. He was locating better than he has in the past. You've got to be in the zone with those guys. They're going to put balls in zone, but to get the strikeouts they did, and that was big. But they both have good stuff, but a lot of guys have good stuff. Now you got to be in the strike zone, and you got to be able to make big pitches in big situations. Today they were able to do that. That's why we were able to get the victory today, fortunately. 
So this next week coming up, you guys have the midweek of Milligan. Not going to happen, so you guys have yeah. a whole week to prepare for Tuscan. Yeah. We talk a lot about practice and what that means yeah. to you guys. What's this next week going to look like for you? Well, it's, it's a ton of notes. I got a ton of notes right here of, of stuff we're going to review, both offensively, hitting, base running, defense, mindset. We're just going to keep trying to improve each and every day. Um, we're never going to be the best version of ourselves. That's never ending. So we're going to come out and we're going to have good energy. We're going to work on some things and try to get better each and every day. We talk about it's a process versus results. This is a long-term thing that we're going to get better at, whether they're here for one year, whether they're here for four more years. Uh, we're going to teach and, and get them better. And, but, but what a weekend. This was, this was good, man. And, and by the way, it's, a, it's a huge blessing just to be able to be in these types of games. Um, certainly uh, thankful for that. Ryan Wilkes here with head baseball coach Tom Griffin after the Eagles take two or three from Newberry, take half the doubleheader this afternoon. They'll have a week off before welcoming Tusk Club into Silver Diamond Baseball Complex next weekend right here on the Eagles Sports Network.